double beam. Haven't seen that for a while. Ah, oh, dang it. I'll just have to, I'll just have to do better. That's, uh, that's the plan. Do better. Wow, I wasted a lot of points on uh, attunement and uh, int for it not to work in this fight. I I basically have no points invested at this point with the things that this this fight negates. Arrows, 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 get your arrows here. Arrow salesmen, they're all in my body. Just pluck them out as you buy them. <laughs> yeah, I mean you you guys is all the is all the stats I need. For for reals, you guys give me like plus one million strength. It's not represented in the game, but I got it. Like uh perseverance as well. Uh, a lot of that. I wish I wish I had 10k more HP though. That would that be wild. Here we go. We're in. Let's do it. Bow thing. I just can't figure out bow. Bow, bow is difficult. Ooh, that was a good block. Oh man, if you could, if you could pull that off with the immunity to sky arrows, that'd be that'd be delightful. So I think my only plan is to like try just being back. Even then, it hit me with one. Like what? I wasn't even anywhere near. Oh! Oh, I was rolling! I was rolling! Why? Oh, that roll was properly timed. I'm telling you, that roll was right, and the game just decided I should be dead despite rolling correctly. Ooh! Ooh, game! Oh, oh dear. Eep. Ow. What? Freaking sky sprinkles, I swear to god. See, I did the same roll that time and it worked. What? Oh no. Help! 
Arrow police. Sprinkles. There goes another potion. Yay, something else. Oh, that was close. Haha! <laughs> Sprinkles. Yep. Touched him. Good. Up, oh, more sprinkles. Oh god, I literally, literally killed by sprinkles. And then she casts sprinkles, and then she fades out, which causes some sprinkles. I'm, I really hate the chip damage in this fight. Like, what, 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 what am I supposed to do about this? Like, they come in so randomly that even when you roll the, the little, the little sparkle sprinkles in the sky, they still hit you anyway. It doesn't matter. Just like they just collide with you. They've got too much turning radius or, or whatever. They're just, they're just evil. More jabs while you retreat. Jab, jab, jab. Come on. Have some of that. Oh, bow. Right. Ah. Get out of here, you boss. It's going to be my turf. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, so many sprinkles. Why? 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 What? In infinite sprinkles while I'm being chased by infinite arrows while I'm being... <laughs> oh my god. This boss is just straight up epic fail design. Like, there is... Like, how many... How many players are they expecting to be in this room in order to have, like, enough players to deal damage while they're being ch like, the rest of them are like, am I supposed to be three people right now? One being chased by the arrows, one being chased by all the sparkles, and a third person to actually hit the boss with something? What is this? This is just stupid. Dark Souls 3, 1 out of 10. <laughs> like, come on. Uninstall, move on to Elden Ring. This is this is, this is over. <laughs> what what were my options there? Be hit or be hit and die? Well, okay. Cool. Uh, other other people doing this is like is like so far off of my radar right now. I'm worried about my experience with how with how this boss is going. This is just stupid, like Design fail, 
these always hit you no matter how much freaking rolling around you do. What is the point? Couldn't even be bothered to try and get range with those arrows. Just like, come on, give me a break. Hurts his, it hurts is the precious. That is, is that a 360 degree? I was behind the boss. So that scythe move must hit the entire everywhere. Oh, that is so bad for me. Like, it, it happens in a flash, that scythe move, right? So, there's no way I'm going to, like, roll it on time. And just being near just causes you death. So, I have to also not be close, even though being close is, like, my only option that I've got. That is... Oh. Uh, it couldn't, like, it couldn't get any worse. Like, honestly, I've got, I've got so many moves on the boss that I can't deal with that it doesn't it doesn't just like tactically this doesn't make sense to me I um yeah it was absolutely no scope for sure oh here come the arrows ow Ooh, ow ow oh here comes the floor thing no good Yay, got a tail jab. Come on. Oh no. No, 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 no. even get the, the little jab at the end. Ooh. might have changed phases, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay, let's see how dreadful this is gonna go. Infinite sparkles! Oh, I did manage to dodge a, a, a 360... what's it? So that causes sparkles in phase two. Roll forwards? Nope, that's not it. Uh, roll forwards? Maybe, sort of. Grab that tail a bit more. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, whoa. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, ah, 
Ah! What god would allow this? What god would allow this? Just, uh, I'm just inviting more sparkles being indefinitely cast while I'm running away from the arrows, but there's nothing I can do but run away from the arrows because they just keep on circling and tracking. Oh, it's, just, it's just so stupid. It's just so convoluted. Like, if I've dodged a spell, let the spell be dodged. This stupid... Some, this is what I didn't like about the Crystal Sage as well, while I was complaining about the Crystal Sage. Having previous spells float around in the air for an hour after they've been cast, that's then followed up with six other spells that float around in the air after it's been cast. It's bad. It's not... You can't multi-dodge things. You've got a tiny fraction of being immortal while you're dodging, and you can't use it on six different things that collide with you at six different microscopically altered times. It doesn't work. Hey, two extra ones. Tight. Oh, this. Yay, no hit. Oh, we faced two already. Cool. Now, that's... Wah! Nope. I had that to dodge while I had that to dodge. It can only be one or the other. I can't dodge both of them. What? What? What is the point of this, this stupidity? Just this, uh, this arrow thing. It, it adds nothing to the boss fight other than being impossible at certain stages because you have to dodge what it's currently doing along with something it cast four days ago. This is stupid. It doesn't, it doesn't work on a mechanical level with how the rest of the game is balanced. Here's an attack. You can dodge it. This is something different that doesn't fit. Wasn't even its current spell, just like previously in the air sparkles. Come on, give me a break with this. I need to, I need something that just makes me immune to just spells that have been cast anything longer than, you know, three seconds ago, and then I can do this boss. If it's an old spell, it doesn't count. Just, you know, just have it fade, fade out. It's not part of the current game. If it's an old spell. Yeah, I I feel like like that emote looks just like this is this is bad. Who would put this in the game? Who 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 would do such a thing? Oh look, it's a normal attack, so I can I can play.
Yay, normal attacks. Oh. Aww, didn't get the tail any of the times. Ooh. The arrow. Oh, I dodged it. What? Nope. 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 Oh, damn. I'm so far away for so long. We ended up with Arrow. Oh, too busy dodging uh, our old sparkles, of course. This, this, this boss rubs me the wrong way. Absolutely. You don't, you don't just fire things and then fire things and then fire things. And then with your fifth attack, the last four things last, um, the last four things come after you. It's just, it's exhausting. needed. I dodged that. Actual factual roll there that happened, and then the game just killed me. It was weird. Well, that was that was just bad. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking about there, but that was not. That was not right. I wonder if. I wonder if this is anything. Dark Edge.
Dark Edge bypasses like, you know, defensive magic because it's a dark spell, then maybe we're we're good. Maybe the boss is not super resistant to dark. It's probably a terrible idea, of course, but I'm just curious, you know. Magic and dark magic, maybe maybe it's different. Let's go find out. No, that is bad. Just gonna check that I didn't do something weirdly wrong. Awful. Because I needed to stop for the health potion, I you no, know, I thought it was a good idea. Because I'd stopped for that health potion, I wasn't over on top of the boss. And the boss definitely has different move sets depending on how close you are. And I kind of invited that double purple beam to be cast by not being on top of the boss. Which then means, you know, death. Like the first one, it took my entire block bar and half my health off. Then I had no block bar for the second one while I was on the floor, downed. So that was obviously the other half of my health, and then and then that's me. I'm gone. So I guess I just got I got to keep on chasing the boss, even if it means that I'm on zero stamina and I'm dead. The body of the boss just pushed me around to the front a bit more than I was. Like normally that, that hit never hits me because the boss doesn't just nudge, nudge, nudge. And the boss just nudged me underneath its attack. That's, that's so sad. 